Something else folks are watching, the Mega Millions drawing. It is tonight with a jackpot of $1.2 billion. The cash option for that is now just under $750 million, and that has scam artists trying to use the opportunity to rip people off. Christine Lazar has more. I can feel the winning ticket. It's the excitement surrounding the Mega Millions jackpot. I'm hoping that lightning strikes. And thieves are hopeful too. As soon as you get to a billion dollar jackpot, all eyes are on the jackpot. Consumer cybersecurity experts say we are seeing a spike in lotto scams from bogus websites claiming to sell Mega Millions tickets to scams promising a lotto windfall. So in many ways, it's like a perfect storm for scammers. They have a large prize pool that, pe that people are attracted to, and they've got people who are very susceptible and vulnerable. The most common scam, according to digital safety company Aura, is being told you won the jackpot, either over the phone or via text. And in those scams, they're asked to maybe make some kind of prepayment, you know, pay your taxes up front or give us a, a temporary payment in exchange for a much bigger payment later. And of course, the temporary payment is made, but the bigger payment never shows up. And there are new sites posing as legitimate lotto sites offering online Mega Millions ticket sales. Of course, these are not official lottery tickets. This man has never played the lottery before, but he was lured in by the billion dollar jackpot. Could you see how someone would fall prey to a scam with this much excitement? Um, absolutely, I can. I've seen more people play the lotto than I've ever have. If you want to get a Mega Millions ticket, you'll have to go to an authorized retailer. And if you are a lucky winner, they will never ask you to pay anything up front. In Los Angeles, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News. All right, good tips there. And as a reminder, if you would like to buy a lottery ticket, you need to do so by 10 o'clock tonight. That live drawing will be shown at 11 right here on News 19. No matter what the odds are, it is exciting to think about what you could buy with $1.28 million, you could easily buy a private island or two, even with the cash option. An island off the coast of Thailand is a, uh, that is 100 acres of beach, and you could grab it for $160 million with plenty of money left over for airfare. Or you could skip the economy class ticket and buy a $660 million private jet to take to and from your island. You know, just in case a you know, a few million wasn't enough. Take that private jet to the island. That money might be a burning hole in your pocket, but you still only spent 820 million with the leftover 460 million dollars, and you could bring some snacks to Thailand. That leftover cash could get you over 76 million Chick-fil-A sandwich combos, but you might not be able to order that in the airport lounge. You could probably use all the money you still have left over for deliveries from Postmates.